Hello, this is Andrew Dubrock, contributing editor for Acoustic Guitar. Welcome to this lesson on expanding your finger picking technique. Finger picking patterns are a great way to back up your songs, in part because they allow you and the listener to focus on the vocal line. They're also relatively easy to play. See the Acoustic Rock Basics lesson, Alternating Bass Finger Picking, for an introduction to pattern picking. But there are times when you may want more variation in your guitar parts. When you move beyond pattern playing, a whole new world of finger picking opens up. It's not that playing without patterns is better than playing with patterns, but having both options gives you the flexibility to vary the sound and dynamics of your playing in the blink of an eye. And this flexibility is what gives songs like James Taylor's Fire and Rain or Cat Stevens' Moonshadow their distinctive sound. In this lesson, you'll learn a few new ways to expand your fingerpicking repertoire by adding fills, bass runs, pauses, and other effects to melodic lines and common fingerpicking patterns. You'll also learn a song that uses fingerpicking ideas similar to those Taylor used in songs like Country Road. The challenge of playing without patterns is as much mental as physical because you have to spend more time thinking about how you're playing at any given moment. But part of it is physically training your fingers to break free of patterns they're very used to playing. A great way to start is simply by mixing patterns. For instance, example one uses an alternating bass finger picking pattern for the first half of the measure, and then switches to a roll pattern in the second half. Use your picking hand thumb on the fifth and fourth strings, and your index, middle, and ring fingers on the third, second, and first strings. Another way you can create variations in your finger picking is by giving your thumb a rest every so often, which removes bass notes from the pattern. Start with this alternating bass picking pattern. Next, eliminate the thumb notes on the second, third, and fourth beats of the measure just playing the thumb notes on the downbeat. Notice how this makes the accompaniment sound as if it's pausing, a great way to make a measure or two stand out before returning to the alternating bass pattern. Now let's go back to the full picking pattern and add a fill similar to one James Taylor often uses. Notice how the bass drops out here on beat 4 so that the melody line of the fill sticks out more. To thicken the fill and sound even more like James Taylor, we can add double stops. It was a Saturday morning I was walking along the road And you appeared at the break of day You were headed down the valley Wherever the wind 